My sister Peggy Jones and I had such fun getting organized. We, our motto was back in 1977, make it fun and we'll get it done. And I've carried that through all my teaching in everything I teach from losing weight to getting out of debt to getting organized. And back in the early days when we were on television a lot, we would go down to L.A. It was called AM Los Angeles, and Regis Philbin was on. And um, he was kind of uh, cranky. And when he first met us, he was very hard on us. And I had just gotten a divorce. And I think it had been just three weeks, something like that. And it was our first time we met him. They had rigged up a closet, so when we opened the doors to the closet, everything crashed out on the floor. And so before, and this is live television, and they brought Regis out to introduce us, and he'd read our bio, I guess you call it. And he said, so now which one of you is divorced? Uh, and I said, well, I am, but it's just been like three weeks, and I would cry if I even talk about it. And, and the divorce had nothing to do with me being a mess at home. We got a divorce for other reasons, and I just wouldn't feel good about talking about it. And, and he said, okay, I, I promise I won't bring it up. Well, we get on the air, and it's our first time in a, on AM Los Angeles, and he says, well, I'd like you to meet the Slob sisters, Pam Young and Peggy Jones, and Pam, you got a divorce because of this mess, didn't you? And I froze, because I, I was used to people, when they promise something, they mean it. And I couldn't speak. My sister could see I was frozen, and she said, Shame on you. You promised her she's fragile and she she can't talk about her divorce and you said you wouldn't bring it up and then you did. Shame on you. And then he acted like he was a bad little boy and then we were we got to sort of attack him and he really liked that. So he had us back on all the time and we played with him during football season. We put him in a uh, recliner chair and we used him as a guinea pig and showed everybody out there that you could get your husband to do a lot of work while he's watching the Super Bowl game and we had all kinds of things for him to do from crack nuts to peel potatoes. You can get you, your man to do a lot while he's watching the game. And then we said if, if your team has uh, just gotten a foul then your husband has to get up and vacuum during that timeout period. So we got them to do all kinds of work if their team was fouled. You this never peeled a potato and you've I never knitted anything. You're look making that ball. Oh, I'm making oh, look a at ball. This family unit. Who, can watch, who can watch a game in peace with all this aggravation <laughs> no, going can. on?